Politician Tiffany Henyard has lost another key ally. Until recently, Henyard enjoyed near unanimous support on the Thornton Township Board, but now trustee Carmen Carlisle says after trusting Henyard and remaining silent, she will be a whistleblower against Henyard. Carlisle released a statement to WGN that reads in part, for the past two years, Henyard has manipulated employees, vendors and residents using her position to increase her influence, all while projecting a false image of success funded by the hardworking taxpayers of Thornton Township and the village of Dalton. Henyard shows no accountability or conscience for her actions against employees or taxpayers. In a dramatic turn of events, a trustee who was once one of Mayor Tiffany's staunchest supporters has become a whistleblower, exposing what she claims to be widespread corruption and mismanagement under the mayor's leadership. This trustee, identified as Carla, had long been seen as a close ally of Tiffany, defending her policies and decisions even as public scrutiny increased. However, Carla's recent decision to turn against Tiffany has left many in the small town of Dalton, Illinois, both shocked and curious. Ari, why not hear from the whistleblower and settle this matter if the whistleblower's identity can be kept private in a closed-door session? I, I think that's the big if, and I think it was striking uh, to see, as, as the senator pointed out, this was basically rejecting that request, which was coming from Republicans on the committee. That's one more piece of breaking news on this busy day. Uh, and I think it's a reminder that the federal laws that protect whistleblowers are, of course, written by the people in that. Um, whether the, the security rationales could be taken, uh, taken out in a way where this would be a, a classified setting and they wouldn't be exposed in any way, uh, that's certainly possible. And at some point in the process could be an interesting thing to do. Uh, but against a backdrop where the, some of the people who are subjects of the investigation have been calling to illegally expose the whistleblower, uh, I think that vote looks more like uh, a, of a piece of that intimidation and not necessarily a fact-finding uh, request by the minority. The winds of change are sweeping through Dalton, Illinois, as Mayor Tiffany Henyard, once seemingly untouchable, now stands exposed under the harsh glare of public scrutiny. Whispers fill the air, with critics speculating that the recent revelations from Carmen Carlisle, a former ally turned whistleblower, might not be as selfless as they appear. Some say Carlyle's sudden decision to speak out is less about seeking justice and more about saving herself, sensing that Tiffany's reign is on the brink of collapse. The accusations against Tiffany Henyard go beyond mere financial missteps. They paint a picture of a leader who has exploited the system for her own gain. Millions of taxpayer dollars allegedly funneled away from the town's coffers have cast a long, dark shadow over her administration. It's a story that has captured the attention not just of Dalton's residents, but of people far beyond its borders. As the truth slowly comes to light, it's clear that everyone watching understands the gravity of what's unfolding. For years, Carlisle was one of Henyard's staunchest supporters, often seen rubber stamping the mayor's decisions. But now, it seems Carlisle has finally seen the writing on the wall as investigations into Henyard's administration intensify. In a statement emailed to a local news station, Carlisle broke her silence, accusing Henyard of unethical and predatory behavior throughout her time in office. The timing of Carlisle's revelations, coming just as legal scrutiny ramps up, has led many to question her true motives. Is she just trying to distance herself from a sinking ship? Or is there something more at play? Carlisle's delayed decision to speak out raises some tough questions. Why did she stay silent for so long? Was she intimidated by Tiffany's power? Or was she complicit in the actions she now condemns? Some suggest that Carlisle may have been too scared to speak up earlier, overwhelmed by the influence Tiffany held in local government. But now, as the tide turns, Carlisle positions herself as a whistleblower, a move that could have serious consequences for Henyard's future. Carlisle's shift from ally to adversary is a turning point, one that could signal the beginning of the end for Henyard's controversial tenure. Carlisle's support had been crucial in keeping Henyard in power, but now Carlisle says she's seen enough and can't stay silent any longer. The once impenetrable aura of invincibility around Tiffany Henyard has been shattered, exposing the harsh reality beneath her polished exterior. The days ahead promise to be crucial. Rumors suggest that Carlisle's whistleblowing might have been prompted by federal authorities, hinting that she could be cooperating with investigators. 
If that's true, the pressure on Tiffany will only intensify, and Carlyle might find herself in a dangerous position. Whistleblowers often face serious personal and professional threats, and there are concerns that Carlyle may need to take extra precautions to protect herself. As the investigation deepens, the people of Dalton are left wondering what will happen next. The town is already facing financial struggles, and a lengthy legal battle involving their mayor isn't likely to help. Tiffany Henyard's actions haven't just jeopardized her political career. They've put the future of the town she was elected to serve at risk. Carlisle's decision to come forward could be the catalyst that finally topples Henyard's administration. The growing pile of evidence against the mayor, coupled with more people stepping forward to speak out, suggests that Henyard's days in office are numbered. For many in Dalton, Carlisle's courage is a beacon of hope, a sign that justice might finally be within reach. But as the legal noose tightens around Henyard, one question remains. What other secrets are yet to be uncovered? The people of Dalton, who have been kept in the dark for too long, deserve to know the full extent of what's been happening under Tiffany Henyard's watch. Carlisle's revelations may just be the start of a larger investigation, one that could uncover even more about the mayor's controversial tenure. As the weight of this scandal grows, Dalton's residents find themselves grappling with how their town was led so far astray. Tiffany Henyard, once a force to be reckoned with, now finds herself trapped by her own actions, fighting an uphill battle to maintain her grip on power. The community's trust, once the cornerstone of her leadership, has crumbled under the sheer magnitude of the allegations. For those who have supported her, the coming days will test their loyalty and integrity. Will they continue to stand by her as the walls close in? Or will they, like Carlisle, choose to break free from the shadows and speak their truth? The answer to that question will likely shape Dalton's future as the town grapples with the fallout from a leadership mired in controversy. The impact of Carlisle's whistleblowing goes beyond the immediate political landscape. Her courage, in the face of potential backlash, could ignite a broader movement within Dalton, inspiring others to challenge the status quo and demand transparency from those in power. As more details emerge, the once impenetrable facade of Henyard's administration may continue to crack, revealing the full extent of the mismanagement and corruption that has plagued the town. In the end, Dalton may find itself at a crossroads with its future hanging in the balance. The people of the town, long silenced by fear or complacency, are beginning to realize that the power to enact change lies within their hands. Whether they seize that opportunity will determine the fate of their community for years to come. But one thing is certain, the era of unchecked authority in Dalton is drawing to a close. The days of extravagant spending, self-aggrandizement, and intimidation tactics may soon be over as the citizens awaken to the reality of their situation. And as the truth continues to surface, Tiffany Henyard may find herself with nowhere left to hide. For Carlyle and others like her, this moment marks the beginning of a new chapter, one where the voices of the people are no longer drowned out by the clamor of corruption. The journey ahead will be challenging, but with each step forward, Dalton moves closer to reclaiming its identity, free from the shadow of scandal and deceit. As Dalton stands at the brink of a new chapter, the echoes of Tiffany Henyard's reign serve as a stark reminder of the perils of power left unchecked. The town's residents, who once placed their trust in a leader they believed had their best interests at heart, now face the difficult task of rebuilding not just their community, but their faith in governance. The story of Tiffany Henyard is more than just a political scandal. It's a mirror reflecting the vulnerabilities of a small town caught in the crosshairs of ambition and greed. As the investigation unearths the layers of deception, Dalton's citizens are left to grapple with the betrayal of their trust and the long road ahead to recovery. But there is hope in this unfolding narrative. Carlisle's whistleblowing, though tinged with questions of motive, has sparked a sense of awakening among the people. It's a reminder that even in the darkest moments, there is room for redemption, for courage, and for a community to rise from the ashes of its past. Dalton's future now rests in the hands of its people. Those who will demand transparency, who will hold their leaders accountable, and who will refuse to let history repeat itself. 
As the sun rises on this new day, it brings with it the promise of renewal. The town, scarred but not defeated, begins the slow but necessary journey toward healing and rebuilding. In the end, Tiffany Henyard's fall may serve as a turning point, not just for Dalton, but for any community that dares to look the other way when power is abused. The lessons learned here are not just for those within Dalton's borders, but for all who value integrity and justice in leadership. As the story continues to unfold, one thing remains clear. Dalton is a town that will no longer be defined by the shadows of its past, but by the resilience and resolve of its people to forge a brighter, more just future. The road ahead may be long, but with each step, Dalton moves closer to reclaiming its spirit, ready to write the next chapter of its story with the lessons of the past firmly in mind. As the sun sets on this chapter of Dalton's history, it rises on the promise of a new dawn, one where integrity, accountability, and justice are more than just words, but the guiding principles that define the town's future. In the end, Tiffany Henyard's story is a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked power and the need for accountability. As the investigation continues, the people of Dalton will be watching closely, hoping that the truth will finally come to light and that those responsible for the town's troubles will be held to account.